here's a quick video, hopefully, of the four older Westie puppies we have left for sale. We've got um, Wispy, who is a little girl, in the pink bandana there, her, uh, her brother Wrangler, and then we've got Weston, who is in the green and blue shirt over here, and Wardley, who is in the uh, orange. Come here, let's play toys. Come on, let's play with toys. Oh, there you go, let's get that ball. <laughs> and they are a handful, I tell you. I would have to say that Wrangler in the red shirt is probably the most active of the four, if I had to make a choice. Those are the crates that I ship the puppies in when I have to ship them. Um, <laughs> they're just all four healthy, happy, playful little puppies. I've got some of the older ones, uh, the boys, marked down because uh, they, they're getting older and they, I'm ready for them to find their new homes. They need to be in a home and start their training. My dogs are um, all doggy door trained because that's the way I'm set up. They have large play pens with doggy doors that where they can go outside and generally they know how to use those um, by the time they leave me. But they're not really started on potty training per se. They just, they're, they're used to a crate and they are used to being um, able to go out that doggy door. And they do real well with it. So it's a start, you know, because they already have learned that they don't potty where they sleep. And that's a start. You can probably expect them to uh, cry a little bit when you first get one because uh, they're used to being in a crate, but they're used to being, well, not a crate, a playpen, but it's similar to a crate. And they're used to being in there with their siblings. So, um, you know, you can expect them to, to miss that interaction, but some soft play toys and things in there and, and they should be good. Usually takes about a week for that to stop. So those are the older Westies. One of them's over there with my golden doodle. I can hear her kind of growling. There he comes. 